Hey everyone, Mike from Mechanical here, and today I'm just giving you a bit of an ND NL Pajero update since we still don't know what the model is because there's uh, parts for NL and ND that suit this car, uh, and that's how we found some parts for it. So, NL, ND are parts that suit this. It's hard to tell what it is based on the fact that it's got a variant that's so similar to this that. It makes them both NLNDs, and this doesn't even have it on the plate that's an NL or ND. So maybe, because I want to actually, you know, if we can. Okay, it is an NL. So this is an NL Pajero, and I'm reading the plate because it's an L. Uh, sorry, N dash L, and I'm, I was looking for something that was, you know, made sense. So here's what I'm reading on the plate. And it says N dash L, so it's an NL. That's my presumption because it's not so easy. I shouldn't also be leaning over that stuff because uh, there might be acid there. Don't clean up. <laughs> that was a bit silly of me. So, what I've been doing is I've been uh, treating the steel to get rid of some rust. <coughs> I pulled off the side step here because we found a, I found a welding job that had to be done. All this dirt that came out the other day when I was pulling apart and I've made up a piece of cardboard because we need to weld up a new piece right there and so I'm making up a piece to reuse the same original spot weld that's here since that's still solid and to also uh, weld a seam around the edge there and it's, it will be structurally good it won't be as good as original but it will be better than it was when we picked it up uh, next is the biggest hole that I've managed to find on the car which was here I'm actually uh, using a clear coat to try and make this easier to get the conformity to the material so then I can take this piece, make a piece to the inside and suit it to this spot. Uh, it won't be perfect but it'll be close, that way I can get the contours and the detailing that I need to make sure that it all fits nice and perfectly so when we spot weld this in it will be nice and neat. So that's happening there. Then we have a big rust hole here, and you can see right through the cab, and that's what we're working on at the moment. So the plan is for this big hole, we're going to uh, weld a piece in. For this little hole, we're just going to bog it up uh, after treating the steel and you know prepping it and making sure it's all nice and clean and nice and tidy, because that entry gap means that if we want to protect the metal, it means we can spray paint it before we seal it up and by being cold using cold materials to seal it up it means that uh, when we do you know put it all together there's not going to be any bubbling on the inside or any point of where the rust is going to occur because you burnt the the, the um the paint so to avoid burning the paint we'll bog it up on the inside there similar thing on this side but the side steps are not off it's not safe to get under the car because the uh, strap, the stands are actually leaning this way, so the car is going to come over this way first if the front lights go. Shook on the car, it's pretty sturdy. Same uh, deal here, there is a rust hole there, it doesn't go all the way through, it's not nearly as bad as the other side. Um, I can't forget about this, but there's also uh, the mud flaps that have to be fixed up a little bit, it's just a seam weld, and then that will hold it nice and strong for a while, and they normally crack anyway, even if you weld them. So I have to be aware that that's going to probably crack again uh, either, either way. The best way to fix that up is actually to take the whole assembly off on the bench, just weld a new piece of steel behind it to reinforce it, and maybe just to, you know seam weld it across, and then you know weld up the crack. That way you're transferring the load sort of somewhere else, but also retaining the strength there because it is just going to crack straight across. Wherever the crack starts, it's just going to keep going. You to prevent that from keep going and to avoid cracking because you have strength here and weakness here, so it flexes in a weird way that it will crack. You know, putting a thing straight across, then there's the weak spots up the top and the bottom. But it's the twist. It's the twisting action that actually cracks them, not the up and down action. So it should be fine to weld a strip across, and it'll be strong enough like that. So if I did that for both sides, it will not crack again in its lifetime. Or at least it shouldn't. Uh, yeah. Now, there isn't really much more up to update other than the fact that we found some cabin holes. 
So by that, that was a cabin hole on that side of the car there. Then there's cabin holes in here, which mean any water that goes on the windshield goes into the grate and then it comes out the sides, is going into the cab where your feet are, and eventually the mould will build up in the carpet. So there's uh, cabin entry points there, and in here, those points are pretty much unreachable, they're pretty minor, so we won't even bother trying to weld them up. Uh, that side we might be able to weld up, this side is too severe, but it's also in a point where we can't exactly weld because there's electrical uh, stuff there. And if we weld there, then we could, you know, mess up the wiring. And to fix that, we'd have to pull out the whole wiring limb or do something to make it so we have access there, a, a, bit, a lot better access so we can actually weld it up or cut it out and weld it a new piece of steel in. But uh, the best solution for this scenario is to use some, you know, sealant, you know, fill it up with... Uh, a compound that's you know structurally good and sound i'm actually trying to find that tube that we got the other day i actually have some oil steel there that hasn't been analyzed because it costs money we don't really have but well, we do have money but for this not for doing silly tests um let's see i don't actually know where that compound actually went it was on the shelf before I would like to find it while we're in the video. Dad's panel's in the shed. I can't find all my tools. I ended up buying a new hammer because I couldn't find a dead blow hammer anywhere. Or a soft one that didn't fall apart. So I bought a solid one. No handle falls off of that. And so I can whack things and then it just uh, does its job a lot better. I have some hammers. Still can't find the compound though. I would figure if it's anywhere it would be on this shelf here. But it's not. Ah. Another place it could be is in the cab, which, again, not in the cab. Uh, but it's to do the body work, essentially. So I don't know why it's not on the shelf here. It should be, since we're going to need it when we uh, put the thing back together again. So the compound that we have is actually going walkies. That's not good. That's actually very not good. <sighs> but... Uh, this has got to go back in the car. I'm thinking, do we replace the engine mounts or leave them as they are? They seem pretty strong still. One of them's just cracked. Uh, it, it doesn't seem really bad that it's you know, like your engine's going to fall out of the engine bay or anything. I got one on my car that's cracked as well, but then I rebuild the engine. Then maybe then I will replace them. Then I, I have peace of mind for a long duration of time. Still looking for that compound. It's brand new. I don't see how we've misplaced it. But that, that happens all the time. I've also invested in buying some of these. I'm going to try and make this pair last as long as I can. Astro Grips. This one has um, five dot points, uh, four dot points here. Where it says the uh, difference between the boxes is here on the outside it says single use only. The other box said on that side do not reuse. Once you've taken them off, do not reuse them. I'm reusing these ones because I'm not, I haven't handled many chemicals yet or gotten any chemicals really on them and I've washed them off with water straight away. So there's not really a problem. Okay, so I can't seem to find the compound. <laughs> That's not good. I thought I would have put it somewhere logically findable, the compound. But it's essentially like a degreaser. I'm not sure what the compound's name exactly was. But once I find it, uh, if I find it during the video, that'd be cool, but I don't think I'm going to find it. It's weird when you buy brand new things and you suddenly just already lose them. Unless Dad misplaced it. Again, he's, he's um, good at walking around with things. He could have put it in his drawer. Because he doesn't like seeing things laying around, but he does. So he does it all the time. No. No. Okay, well, it's not in the drawers. It doesn't seem to be out in the shed. Um... Where have I put things? I know, I don't see how it's not here. I've got to think about where, when I bought it, where I bought it, what else I bought with it. I bought about $100 worth of stuff, and that was one of them, and today I bought about $60 worth of stuff, and these were part of it. I didn't buy a rust converter, I didn't buy the spray honey, Um, I 
didn't. Um, no, I don't know what I bought with it. It might still be in the car, but I doubt it because I brought everything in. Could always go look at the receipt. Don't. Blah, 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 blah. This is not good. I've lost stuff. Could be in the bag. Nope. Not in the bag. I'm going to get flagged. Nope, I can't find compound. So it's not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, no, 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 no. See, I can get in trouble just for someone playing music. And I'm not trying to play it in my video. It's just in the environment. And I can't stop this video without having to edit. And I'm not in the business of editing things these days. Try not to. So the compound's actually gone missing, so it doesn't look like I'm going to find it. Not today, anyway. Just double checking. I think that's about it. I can't really look for it anymore. But the compound is like a sticker flex 272, I believe. It's one for, uh, they show on the, the picture for doing the seams here. And it's for, with flexibility, it's oversprayable, it says on the shelves so I'm gonna get abused for losing something that I don't know how I've lost it which sucks so bought that can't find it I need to finish off this car I need to get it out of my face and then when you lose things this is the problem I can't clean up all this because I can't afford to clean all this up and I did actually clean things up let me make a point. This was all a little bit more organized than this now. Now, if I can find my board, wherever Dad might have put it, he might have actually pulled the screws out. I have no idea what it did with my board. I had all my hammers hanging up nice and neatly, and he tore it down. So, he moved everything around. He threw things out. He made a big mess for me. I don't want to live here anymore. I want to move out. It's just not possible. No, my na my everything's gone missing. I can't find my hammers. I can't find anything. Not even the brand new compound. Oh my gosh. So I had a hammer board. I can't even find that. And that was hanging up on the shed on that side of the shed. The board's actually not laying around anywhere that I can see. And it has a lot of screws in it. Board's not there either. And you put your hat, you, you put your hammers on the board. It used to hang up there. I might have a picture somewhere, but I have no idea where the board actually is gone. Unless you put it back here somewhere. Ah, everything's going missing. I actually recall it was over here somewhere. I believe he had it hanging around. He must have chucked it out already because I put a lot of work into it. it cost money to make. That could be it. Or not. No. Nope. One of my posts. Every, everything. And compound. Uh, this is all cleaning materials and things that have to be done. I don't know what he's done. I don't even know what I've done. But this is just ridiculous. You No, I, I tried to clean up. I cleaned up. Dad made an even bigger mess. He wouldn't help me actually clean up. He helped me make more mess. And then he blames me. So, because of how toxic my dad is and how horrible it can be to have him around, he always puts it the other way around. I don't, I don't want to live here anymore. But it's so hard to just to do whatever and get out. Because it's just such a pain. He was up so late last night that he didn't even lock his car. And he didn't finish his job off. He drinks, he smokes. I got fish and he almost killed all of them by draining at the pool. He's just punishing everyone. And I don't want to deal with it. I've had, had enough. That's why I gotta finish this off as quickly as I can. So he has his car back. And you know, a proper car. Can't find that D 
them board can't find compound 272 but I mean I've bought stuff and here's one of the stuffs I bought uh, did not buy that did not buy that this is sucky ah I know where I bought stuff and I know where I put stuff never mind I might know where the compound uh, 272 is and it wasn't anywhere that dad would have put it, it would have been where I put it because I've been trying to keep things organized it might be in here there we go is it two two five two sorry that's the compound that's what we're going to be using all this video just to look for one of these so I did actually have organization and I've have about uh, 16 sheets of emery paper in here brand new you know there's a new tape roll second hand etc 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 we pretty much got to the end of this. I don't think there's really much to show, but I hope people understand the circumstances of everything that I have to go through because it's it just sucks. Everything sucks. I want to so move out. I want to so clean up. And I also want a better job. But when I'm walking around looking for things, this isn't doesn't feel like work. This feels like doing nothing and getting nothing done. This is one of the problems when I'm working on cars, which is why I don't like working on cars as much as I used to. But I have to finish this thing off because if we don't finish this off, then when Dad's car finally is, you know, defected or something goes wrong with it, he's going to be out of commission. And he's going to be out of commission because we have to pull a power string box out and get it reconditioned in his uh, car. So, thank you for watching, thank you for your support. Hope this video gives you a bit of an insight on what we're doing with the rust problem on the Pajero. Finish that, we'll finish this car off as soon as humanly possible, because I want to be done with this. Especially I want the wheels on it, so I can put it on the ground. <coughs> and, yeah, be done with it. So thank you for watching, thank you for your support. See you later everyone.